start that. Is there what's keeping it alive or has Correct. It refills with fluid. Oh. Absolutely. So I'm just gonna mark this right here. Yeah, because this is a very interesting one. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do is Hey, this is Tom Bernanke, and today I'm gonna show you what that cyst was. Disclaimer, we can't actually give it advice online, so don't listen to anything we ever say. Fills with fluid, absolutely. So, I'm just gonna mark this right here. Yeah, because this is a very interesting one. So, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is, Gout before? Sure. Yeah, so it's very unusual to get it there, but it did show spindle shaped crystals. So, right there, so it's numbing medication. Feeling okay there? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then a little bit more freeze. And we'll just do this. Sorry, I know that's a little bit sore. V there. There we go. So I'll go right into the cyst. Feeling okay? Definitely very firm. The biopsy report from the aspiration, so sucking it out with a needle, actually showed dead fat tissue with crystals inside and something called a granuloma. Here's what a granuloma is. A granuloma is when your immune system attacks a foreign substance. So in this case, she probably got hit in the ankle, it killed some of the fat cells, and basically the body formed a hard shell around it with the immune system. That's roughly what a granuloma is. If you look it up, the definition is a little bit different, but that's how I like to explain it to patients and think about it. So your immune system walling off a substance that it can't digest and destroy, that's a granuloma. So, we weren't in the OR for this particular case, hey, I, I don't bring the camera into the OR just quite yet, but give us a few thumbs up and I'll start doing that in the future. So this is roughly what we're looking at right here. So what happens is I come in with a scalpel right here and we try and dig underneath this and scoop it out. So surgically, I get under the cyst, I scoop out the cyst, we make sure it's not connecting down to the bone, and then we always send these off for biopsy. I like to use a resorbable suture to close this. So let's see what the final results look like. You have been a model patient. You've done everything great. So all we have to do now is, you just have to wear the Band-Aid on there, and realistically, Right now, we'll do, we're just going to take out a couple of these sutures, so we're just going to clean these up. And you can see that callus area is already coming off there. Mm -hmm. Your skin's already healing up pretty nicely. So, there we go. We'll just come right there. And so nothing should hurt here.
Do I feel okay there? Sure. Good, perfect. I'm just gonna clip the ends here. And since that's resorbable the rest of the way, you can see how nothing's really remaining there. Mm -hmm. Now I can just clean off some of this callus right here. That feels okay, nothing's really hurting there? Not at all. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so we'll kind of let that come off naturally on its own. So you could see incision site went from here to there, mostly healed up, just a small little central area. I'd say two more weeks of Band-Aid and you're in perfect shape, yeah. okay? Awesome. And you're showering, everything's doing okay yeah. from that end? Perfect. All right, so there you go. You've been a model patient, you're doing good. We'll just check it once in about two weeks or so, make sure everything's doing good. Okay. And you're all set. Awesome. So again, just to kind of resummarize, so it was what's called a granuloma, and on the inside you just had a little bit. So it wasn't quite gout, you know, but they called it a crystalline compound, nothing dangerous. Oh, so, perfect. Awesome. There it goes. So, so you did great. Thank you.